Hey booktube, this is Kelly. Thank you so much for watching my channel, Books I'm Not Reading. So we have a, a brief guest. Oh, he's leaving? Well, at least, oh my God, a few, a few moments of blue, my cat. Um, so I'm not sure I picked the greatest time to film the what's, uh, what's cheering me up a video that um, Gina from Gina Stan Your Books has kind of turned into a tag. Um, but I would love to know in the comment section, what is cheering you up? Um, have you have you read a great book, seen a great film? Did something exciting happen in your life uh, lately? So please, please feel free to share that with me. That would cheer me up to hear from all of you um, in the comment section down below. So. I did come up with a few things that are cheering me up in spite of the fact that I picked the worst day <laughs> to film this. I literally cried at my desk today. So yeah, it's um and there's just other things going on in my in my personal life that are just really hard and I'm not really sure how to handle, how to cope with it. But but some things that are cheering me up. So I am super excited for summer reading. Um, and I have been thinking about making my own um, summer reading fake crate, which I did last year. I haven't decided on a theme yet. I'm, I'm thinking of using the theme that, that our local library will be using, but I'd love to hear from you guys if, if you have like a cool, would be a really cool summer reading theme for adults because I don't think summer reading should just be for for kids um so that is cheering me up along with my card somehow Alice she is she's a little bit it's a little bit messy at the moment uh, I need to tidy <laughs> some things up but uh yeah there's really there's really a lot going on on uh, my my Alice cart. I never expected to enjoy having a library cart so much. It just really helps for me to focus and think about things. Uh, someone reminded me of a buddy read that I had forgotten about <laughs> recently. So that book got added to the cart so that I won't forget again. Um, yeah. Uh, Another thing that's been cheering me up are my new specs. I don't know how well you can see them, but yeah, I like them. I like them a lot. Um, they slide down my nose a little bit, so I may have to go and get them adjusted. But uh, Carm, Carm did pick pick up on the new specs um, in my Friday Reads video, so kudos to him. They made me um, nauseous for an entire day. My eye doctor was like, you're gonna hate me for like the next two or three weeks. And that first day I was like, oh man, if the next two or three weeks are like this, it's gonna be really bad. But it was just a day and then, yeah, like my eyes are still getting adjusted to them, but I think it's a, a better prescription. I have really, really terrible eyesight. So, um, let's see. Oh, Jason bought me a very cool shirt. It's in my favorite pale blue color. It says, Society of Obstinate Headstrong Girls, um, which is of course a reference to Pride and Prejudice. Uh, and I'm so excited about Jane Austen July this year. Oh, it'll be so much fun. So that shirt is just making me excited for Jane Austen July and um, and the shirt itself was just a very, very sweet gesture. Uh, the cat is always cheering me up. He is such a sweetheart and I just can't blame him for much, including the partial destruction of my ribbon. I don't know, let's see, can you see the holes? Look, look at all those holes. I turned my back for a minute and the cat has gone after my booktube journal. Uh, so anyway, I've been keeping track of how many pages I've read in things because I'm a geek 
like that, but it's helping me keep on track. So anyway, I just thought I'd share with you a funny blue thing that he just did this morning. The other thing that has been cheering me up is the great pottery throwdown. Now, I love all these kind of like do-it-yourself sort of amateur reality shows. There's no monetary prize. Like there's just like a cake stand or a piece of pottery. <laughs> and they always, I think they do such a great job of picking nice people. Like there's never anybody like backstabbing somebody else, right? In any of these things. So um, the great pottery throwdown has really taken me back to um, when I was growing up and my mom was an art teacher and um, in her studio, I think she had maybe four, maybe six pottery wheels. There were kilns um, and I don't remember ever making anything on the wheel, but I have tons and tons of stuff that my parents made. But the really special ones, <laughs> maybe, maybe they're not really special since nobody in my family made them, but my grandmother bought a set of dishes from a, a very, very expensive kind of art gallery, also dishes, uh, <laughs> uh, store where she lived and I demanded that I get to inherit the dishes. So these are, these are my plates. This is, and these are hand, they're hand thrown. Um, let's see, there's the mark on the back there. And um, yeah, and so, but I know they're hand thrown because when I stack them in the cupboard, like they're not all completely even, they don't stack evenly. Um, so they were not made in, um, a mold and just to give you an idea of a, of the contrast so so there's one here's another one right I mean it's the same kind of color thing but it's just there's just a lot going on and um, I've loved these dishes I have um, six plates four kind of pasta bowls four soup bowls and then we have some mugs we did lose some of the mugs when I moved into the house. I'm not really sure how that happened, but um, but it did nonetheless. Anyway, so I have like just really grown to love like watching people actually make like make things. Um, I I have so many super, super creative, talented friends. We started season two of The Great Pottery Throwdown and I'm loving it. Really, it is, it is cheering me up quite a bit. And of course, the other thing cheering me up, you guys, is books. Man, don't we love books? So I am almost halfway through The Amazing Adventures of Cavalier and Clay. Um, this won the Pulitzer Prize. I can't remember what year off the top of my head. I, I'll do a review of this when I'm done. Um, it is like I've never read this book before. I, I'm really surprised at just how completely blank my mind is to the story. Um, this is not the edition I read. I read the American edition. This is the British edition. Um, but I actually really like this cover. I don't know if you can tell. This is um, one of the comic book characters, the escapist, and he is punching uh, Hitler. <laughs> so I'm like, I like that. I'm reading this for a second time, it's it's like reading it for the first time. It's it's another Pulitzer almost that I haven't read. Um, the Pulitzers that I had already read before I did the Pulitzer Project, I didn't reread, including this one. Um, and so it's been really fascinating over the last year to go back and reread some of them. Almost all of them, though, um, I remembered better than Cavalier and Clay. Like, I have I have no idea what's going to happen. I, 
no clue. No clue where the story's going. I'm just along for the ride um, and enjoying it, really enjoying it. The other really, really big important thing that is cheering me up is you guys. Um, you wonderful, wonderful people who <laughs> leave me these comments. The comment section is probably God, it's probably my favorite part of booktube. It's just that interaction. I take just immense, immense pleasure from, you know, hearing about what's going on in your lives and what you're reading that you love and yeah, um, what you what your thoughts are on a book that I'm talking about, things like that. So um, that's just really, it's really, really special. So Anyway, I thank you all, um, all of you who have left comments, who have given me a thumbs up at one point or another, because that also kind of gives me a sense of maybe who's not into commenting, but they just want to, they just want to do that. Um, but I continue, will always say like, please, please leave a comment um, down anyway, below. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to be kind to yourself, be kind to others. If you um, have a channel and you wanna make a What's Cheering You Up video, I tag you, go for it. I look forward to seeing what's cheering you up. And uh, let me know, make sure um, that you uh, do a little at symbol or link to my channel so that I can find your video um, uh, and uh, enjoy that. So, all right, you guys rambled on enough. Um, thanks so much for watching booktube and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.